So I'm a neuroscientist, um, I study human brain and I try to understand how we perceive the world around us and how this perception of the world is important to drive behavior. Um, something important to understand is the way we perceive the world in the way we do because that is useful to move and to react in order to survive. So I'm particularly interested in trying to understand how the brain is able to detect what is dangerous in the sensory environment and to react to it. Uh, if you think about it, human brain, animal brains are very good at deciding in a split second if there is something dangerous, that's very important to survive, for example if a predator arrives. And specifically what I'm interested in is try to understand what are the rules that the brain uses to decide what is dangerous and what you observe is that when there is a dangerous stimulus the brain produces a very big um, response which you can record in humans using electrodes, for example, and nobody really knows the meaning of that response. And what we are trying to understand is how this response, if and how it is related to motor behavior and in particular to defensive motor behavior. Um, something else I'm particularly interested in, which I'm going to develop here during my stay at the EAA, is this idea, idea that uh, danger is also coded in, uh, as a function of where the stimulus is respect to yourself, what we call coding of sensory stimuli in egocentric coordinates. And by doing that we are able to define a portion of space surrounding the body, uh, which is called um, peripersonal space, which is, if you want, a kind of um, safety margin and when um, things occur close to your body you have enhanced defensive reaction.